Hi everybody, my name is Precious and this is Coeval College. I will be talking to you about measurements today. We'll start with the definition what measurement is. So the definition that we have is measurement is a process of finding an amount of a physical quantity by measuring it. Uh, when we're talking about physical quantity, we mean um, things like length, which means how long something is from one end to another. And the units for that, uh, if we're using the metric system, is your millimeter, centimeter, meters, and kilometers. But if we're using the imperial system, like, you know, the one that they use in America, uh, then we're talking about inch, foot, yard, and uh, the mile. Another physical quantity is the area. So area means the amount of two-dimensional space occupied by a shape. Um, if you see there, I have one shape, it's just that the other one is in two dimension, the other one is in three dimension, but we're talking about the two dimensional space that is occupied by this particular shape. Um, so if we have a side, um, which is in millimeters, then the area will be in square millimeters or millimeters squared. It's important that you have that two at the top. If, if the side is in centimeters, then um, the area unit will be in centimeter squared. If the side is in meters, the area will be in meter squared. If the, the side is in kilometers, then the area will be in kilometer squared. So even if they ask you in an exam, just remember to put that two at the top because that shows what you've been calculating is area. The other one is mass. Uh, most people call it weight, but scientifically that's not correct. So we're going to talk about mass. Uh, mass is the, is the amount of matter a thing consists of. Um, for instance, a, you want to go and buy uh, some fruits at the supermarket and you know you go there and you take maybe you just want five of them but it doesn't show the price so when you put it on the scale it'll tell you the price based on 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 the mass of these fruits so if we're using the metric system then uh, weight or mass is measured in milligrams or grams or kilograms and then the imperial system is the ounce the pound and the ton then the other one is volume. The other physical quantity is volume or capacity. So these uh, terms, volume and capacity, are interchangeable. Um, capacity, we define it as how much quantity a container can hold. And then volume is the amount of space a 3D shape takes up. Capacity is measured in milliliters, liters, and kiloliters. Or when we use the imperial system, that will be your pint, your cut, and then your gallon. Uh, but volume is measured in cubic centimeters or cubic millimeters or cubic meter. Um, and then please note again here, when we differentiate it from the area, a uh, volume is it's a cubic um, so we're going to say cubic centimeter, where, whereas area will be saying um, square centimeter or centimeter squared. So volume has the three, but area has the two. Just differentiate these two. It's important. Another physical quantity that we will uh, measure is time. Uh, time, it just means, you know, ongoing sequence of events. So we can use the clock. Back in the day, they used to use the hourglass. Um, and then what are the units? These are seconds, minute, hour, day, week, month, year, decade. And, um, okay, I made a mistake there. It's actually decade. Um, the hour, uh, century, millennium. The other physical quantity is uh, temperature. So when we're talking about temperature, we're talking about a measure of how cold or hot something is. We know, you know, remember COVID time, I think in other places they're still doing this where they'll have to measure um, and record down your temperature. And if it's above a certain um, a Celsius, uh, and then it means, yeah, there's something wrong with you. You need to be checked. Sometimes with babies, when they are having fever and then you measure them, you find that, no, it shoots up to 
39 degrees or 40 degrees and by the way if a child is at is 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 recording that temperature it's important that you take them to the er um the units that we're talking about then is celsius oh uh, you're gonna see it by that little circle with a c that's the unit and then fahrenheit which is the little circle again with an f um and those are the units that are being used there are others called the kevin but then the common ones are these two so when we're talking about conversions we're talking about and uh, now we're dealing with it's where we're dealing with the units because you see how do you move from millimeters to centimeters how do you move from milligrams to grams how do you move from milliliters to liters so we need to convert these units uh depending on 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 what is it that we are measuring exactly okay we're going to start with uh the conversion of length the conversion of length we remember we said it's the millimeter the centimeter the meter and the kilometer um so if you're moving from millimeters to centimeter you have to divide by 10 but why do we divide by 10 okay we need to start this way one centimeter equals 10 millimeters so if you have one centimeter you already know that okay i have 10 milli millimeters even if you can take your ruler um it is using centimeters and the other side with the short spaces in those those lines that has short spaces those are millimeters so where there's 10 millimeters then you'll see it's in line with one centimeter where there's two 20 millimeters it's in line with two centimeters um, but the way you'll have to understand it is this one if you're moving from the big unit which is say for instance the kilometer you're moving two meters or you're moving to centimeters or you're moving to millimeters then you have to multiply but if you move but if you're moving from millimeters and moving to the bigger unit then you have to divide so the smaller unit down to the bigger one you divide but the big unit down to the smaller one you multiply just yeah you need to know this these conversions are important that you have to know them like you know your name uh, the next unit is mass remember we have milligrams we have grams we have uh, kilograms and the time these ones you just multiply by thousand if you're moving from the small unit to the bigger um, from the big unit to the smaller one i mean sorry and then if you're moving from the smaller one to the bigger one you just divide but um i just need you to notice that these are just thousands there's nothing unlike the length where sometimes you multiply by 10 sometimes by 100 these you just me milligram to gram is a thousand gram to kilogram is a thousand kilogram to a ton is a thousand okay um and then units of capacity remember these ones also go uh with a volume uh, they're just interchangeable so from milliliters to a liter you divide by a thousand from a liter to a kiloliter you divide by a thousand again um if you from a kiloliter to a liter you have to multiply because now you're moving from a, a bigger uh, unit to a smaller one so you are multiplying all right here this is the volume i was talking about which is uh, quite tricky if i may say but it's not that tricky uh the only thing is you will see as i'm doing a calculation just to show you why i'm saying sometimes it's a bit tricky is because most most learners most of you learners um make a mistake of uh, you forget that this is a a cubic unit so everything you multiply itself by three Hence, you see that from millimeters going to centimeter cube, uh, you divide by 10 to the power 3. From centimeter to a meter, you divide by 100 to the power 3. Just think of it as length. Remember, from length to centimeter, we divide by 10. But now, it's from millimeter cube, you divide by 10 cubed. From centimeter cube, you divide by 100 cubed cube from meter cube you divide by a thousand cube it's because sometimes you may be asked um to have these uh, units interchangeable so when we look at if we have one milliliter just know that one milliliter is one centimeter cube 
but if you've got a thousand milliliter it's the same as a thousand centimeter cube and you see it's one milliliter one centimeter so one one it's the same a thousand milliliter a thousand centimeter cube a thousand this side and a thousand that side the only thing that is that is different there is the milliliter with the centimeter you just have to hold that in your you have that you just need to have that in your mind um another one then one kiloliter is one meter cube so everything's the same the only thing is just have it in your head the back of your head milliliter centimeter milliliter centimeter cube milliliter centimeter cube and then kiloliter meter cube um that's just that now when we we're going to make an example here you have to find the volume of the cubed in centimeter cube. So now we've been given one meter, one meter, and another one meter. So you need to change this meter into centimeter cube. You know, so you're changing the, 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 the what is it? You're converting um, meter cube to centimeter cube. But remember, we know that uh, one meter we know that one meter is a hundred centimeter right we know that okay so now does that mean now that one meter cube will be a hundred meter cube no it's not like that in fact remember this is volume one meter will be a hundred centimeter so that one side it will be like that but then now remember you have to multiply it by the other side so it'll be one times one which is going to give you a meter squared it means the other side for the centimeter you'll be saying a hundred times a hundred which is going to be giving you a centimeter squared and then now um, once you finish the whole volume of formula it's going to be one times one which is a meter cube will be a hundred times a hundred times a hundred centimeter cube which actually gives us one million centimeter cube so one meter cube is the same as a million centimeter cube all right uh, okay here's another one so what happens if now we need to find the volume of this cube in cubic meters so we've got one side which is two meter what will be the whole volume if they just give you one side is two meter what's the whole volume I guess you understand that you're gonna multiply one side by the other and then and the and the other one which is gonna give us eight cubic meters all right I hope you understand that um, another conversion that we need to look at is the unit of time remember when it comes to time it's we have seconds we've got minutes we've got hours we've got days weeks uh, months decades centuries and millennium okay in 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 this one again if the unit is big like a millennium and you want to go to the smaller unit you multiply and then with from the small unit like the seconds you want to go to the bigger unit you have to divide so 60 seconds is e equal to one minute uh, so if you got 60 seconds and they say how many minutes is 60 seconds it means you have to divide by 60 and then you're going to get a minute but if you've got a minute and then they want to know how many seconds are in a minute then you multiply by 60. that's the conversion you need to know um uh, the last one is um the temperature uh so remember we said the units are fahrenheit and then the, we've got the degree celsius so let's say they want you to convert um degrees celsius they want you to convert them to degrees fahrenheit they've given you degrees celsius they want you to convert that temperature to fahrenheit so what do you do you're gonna use this formula 1.8 times the degree celsius temperature that they've given you plus 32 degrees and then if you they've, they've given you uh Fahrenheit and they want you to convert that temperature to degree Celsius then you're going to say this Fahrenheit minus 32 degrees divided by 1.8 so you're just playing with the with the formula the you're changing the subject of the formula yep so I hope uh, you understand um, this just a uh, foundational knowledge you need to know uh, when it comes to measurement please don't forget to share with your friends so that um, they can also benefit